Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own ancient Egyptian collar, like this one. Right, the ancient Egyptians really liked wearing their jewellery. They didn't wear an awful lot of anything else, but they did wear jewellery. So, this is a picture of the pharaoh, and he's hunting in the marshes, um, hunting birds actually. And you can see he's got a lovely collar on. So even going out and doing whatever he was doing, he was always wearing these collars. And you can see down here, he's got a child and the child's wearing one too. I'm pretty sure she's wearing one, but it's a bit difficult to say because she's got a bundle of papyrus leaves there. So if I zoom in, you can really have a good look and have a look at the colours as well. I think this one was probably for day wear, so it's got blues and whites and reds. But um, for other times, they would have gold ones with jewels all over. It really didn't matter very much to them. They just had an awful lot of these collars. OK, how are we going to make it? Well, I've actually used a paper plate for mine. But just to show you quickly, if you haven't got a paper plate, Here's a bit of cardboard, as you can see. It's a pepperoni pizza. Just use a plate to make your circle. Like that. And then you need something to make your head hole to go around your neck. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit tricky. Now I've got this, um, it's actually a takeaway tub. I can't even remember what was in there. So it's about the right size. So I can draw around that. So a bit of cardboard, paper plate, um, draw around a plate, then make your hole. And you're gonna cut it and cut through there and then cut it out and cut that bit out. Right, this one I've made out of a paper plate. It's just easy because you don't have to cut a circle. Well, not the big one at any rate. And it gives you quite a nice texture around the edges. So you can see I've already drawn my circle on there and cut it out. And you'll end up with something like this. Now you can see when I've cut it out, I've just cut little bit of a curve around the edge, these edges here just so it doesn't stick into you. Right now you've got that it's time to decorate. I've used some gold paint you don't have to you could use yellow paint red paint blue paint pretty much anything you like because I don't think the Egyptians were that bothered either. In fact they used to make some of their collars and they would decorate them with flowers actual real flowers, they would decorate them with feathers, or they would decorate them with jewels, so pretty much anything goes. What have I got? I've got some little bits of paper here that I can use to decorate mine with. Now when I'm paint, you could paint it, you know, you could paint paint colours on it, or I've got some cut out paper, Pretty much anything goes. Right, I'm going to stick these down. I'm going to start in the middle. I think if you're making a pattern, start in the middle. It's so much easier. And then start going around the edge. And because I've started in the middle, I'm going to go from one side to the other because then I will get a nice even pattern. But have, have a look at what you've got that you can use to decorate with. I mean, other things that I've found while I was looking for things, I've got some birthday paper. That's quite often got a bit of shine to it. Um, I've even got a paper hat left over from Christmas and I've got our good old friend tin foil. Always like a bit of tin foil. 
so I can use a bit of tin foil, which makes it nice and blingy. I don't mean a thing if it ain't that bling. Like I said, we start in the middle, we work our way out. And I will end up with a nice even pattern. What else have I got? I've also got some of these little fluffy balls. I have no idea why I've got little fluffy balls, but I do. And since I got them, I'm going to use them. And there's one there. So really, anything you've got, have a look-see. Oops, that one wants to stick to me. Doesn't want to stick to the to the plate. I'll put a few more of these on. You can see how quickly it starts looking pretty good. Right, fancy a bit of red now. I'm also getting very stuck. Right. That one, maybe that's a bit too long. I'll just chop that a little bit. The nice thing about paper is it really doesn't matter, does it? You can just chop it up into little bits. It's uh, very effective. So. That's, oop. As you can see, I can just carry on going with that to make it fun. Right, well that's my start. And I'll just show you the other one again. Put these away. Here's one I made earlier. There's that one. And here's the other one. And you can see it's quite quick and easy to make yourself rather a rather fun collar, just like an Egyptian pharaoh. So over to you now. Oh, I forgot to tell you, these bits here, those are plastic straws that are chopped up. Really, anything goes. Okay, time for you to go and have your go. So let me see what you how, how, how well you do on this. I'd love to see what you do. Okay, bye.